works in different, some different ways the guy's gonna hold. So a lot of times when you start to shrimp, the way he can block this is by cupping your elbow and sitting through it. Once his hips on the floor, your shrimp's not gonna work anymore. So what's holding you on your back is this, his control of your elbow here, right? So you need to move your elbow to get out. So bring this, if his head's tucked close, you're gonna need to kind of bump and get your elbow in front. But sometimes the guy's not, not too sharp and he keeps his head up high. So I shoot my thumb inside the crook of his arm. I'm just gonna stiff arm away and shoot my elbow to the mat. Once you get your elbow to the mat, all you gotta do is, uh, don't just try to pull your knee through. Slide your butt away and you'll see. You create a whole bunch of space, it's easy to slide your knee through. The person on top will almost always turn back up to his knees. As you do that, keep control of the arm and you'll end up back in your guard. Person sits through, put your hand inside, the, inside of his arm, push and pull, turn the elbow down, just one scoot away, and then make enough space to slide your knee through. First one, person turns up to their knees to follow you. Keep, see how I keep control of his arm? It allows him to get back in the position. A lot of times you get right into an attack if you have good control of the arm. If the person is slow to react, when you get this to the floor, and you scoot away, and he still stays here, you just bring your knee under the body, right up into the armpit, bring your other leg over the head, catch the wrist from the arm bar. And then sometimes you get a guy who's got a terrible balance, you shrimp your arm out, and you're able to just push and sit up. So I want you guys to practice all three. The first one is the, again, the most common. You're just going to end up back in your guard. Bring my hand over, thumb in the crook of his elbow. Extend my, I'm going to stiff arm with my left arm and shrink my right arm. Just keep this arm locked, okay? If you bend it, you'll be able to muscle through it and pin your arm. If you keep it locked, you can't, you just have to have a hard time getting past this, right? So, first when he turns up his knees, I shrink away, and bring my knee back inside. Next one, he stays, bring my knee right under the armpit, toes behind the shoulder, leg over the neck. Sometimes you can catch his arm trapped under your arm and finish here. But normally, end up in the arm like this. And then the last one is you just stiff arm and sit up. So I shrink, shrink this down. I'm just going to extend, get up on my elbow. And then tie down myself. You guys got it? One, two, three. Uh, so now we're going to go different, uh, different sort of holding positions. So, Couple basic things. A person can either control your, your upper body or they can control your lower body. Like if he had, uh, he's hugging my hips now. So now my upper body is completely free. My legs are basically useless in this position. Right? It's the same thing if he's holding that uh, head and arm control up here. My upper body is useless right now, but my legs are basically free to move. So you just have to recognize what's being controlled in order to get out. So I recognize my elbow is being controlled. I free it and I'll get out. He's got, just holding the basic thing, he's controlling my upper body, my legs are free to move, I'm out. So now we're gonna go with the person's gut. This will happen a lot if the person uh, took you down with a double leg, or, uh, come on, right? like they're passing your guard, they wrap their arms around your legs, they just hop past your legs, right? So it's gonna be, just hold it it's gonna be almost impossible to just shrimp back the guard from here, he's got my legs so tight. Right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the other way. And I, since my hands are free, I'm going to use that on his head. All right, so I'm going to, instead, almost all the other states are turn in like this and shrimp in. Now I'm going to turn away and start to push the hand away and turn my body away. Right. From here, now I'm going to shrimp my butt through this way. Slide my butt through and then pull my leg. All right, so it's basically shrimping in the reverse direction. All right, so I want, we'll start like this. So in butterfly going like this, person's going to hug your legs. Put the head on the side, just hop over, put you on your back. Hugs the hips. Take both hands, post on the head, turn your body away. So I want to get as much on my side as I can. And I bend my legs and I'm going to just try to slide my butt through. Just slide through. Once you have your butt through a little bit, just keep the hand post on the head like a stiff arm. Pull your leg through. And you're back in the right. So, yeah. Start here. Hugs the legs, hops over. Make sure you, so there's gonna be times where you get, the person wraps your legs and you're just holding on so tight, you're basically gonna be kind of stuck here for a second, right? If that's the case, if your legs are kind of uh, held in place, 
Get your hands in place, a complete stiff arm, so no, no bend in your elbows. Just keep your arms straight and hold this position. You won't be able to move without giving you space. Right? And then if you want to like force action, sometimes you just need to sort of shimmy your body. Like little shakes to get through. You'll be able to pull your knee through and go back in the You guys got it? So, one, two, three. So this one works regardless of the kind of the guy's, the way the guy positions his arms. Um, it's going to be the same thing if he switches his arms. So this side, this arm's like this, it's hugging like this. It's basically the same idea, except it's gonna, instead of pushing on his head, I push my hands in his tricep and armpit here. I do the exact same uh, motion. Turn away, slide my, my leg through. Now, so that'll happen a lot of times. The guy's going like double unders on you. He passes your guard, and you end up like this. Okay, so immediately I just get hands on the tricep and armpit, shoot away, and bring my knee through. And it's also a way, so even better than uh, getting back to your guard after he's passed it, is not letting him pass. So, if he's coming around this side, I can use this motion. I get my hand in the armpit before he ever gets to the side position. You maintain your, your guard, okay? So we'll practice. We're going to start starting from, have the person start in the double under. They pass to the side. We'll start here, right? Get your hands in the armpit. Stiff arm, turn away. Shrink your butt through. Get back to the guard. Do a couple of them, and then try to practice it without ever letting him get tight. As he comes around, I put my hand already in the tricep and armpit area. As he gets past my legs, I just keep the stiff arm, slide through. And that'll avoid a lot of, it'll save you a lot of energy, a lot of time. You guys got it? One, two, three.